All right, peep this out, chat. I think I figured out how I'm going to go ahead and get famous from night to fucking day. So here we go. Step one. I'm going to go ahead and spew some of the wildest shit on fucking camera. Holy fuck, dude. Kendrick Lamar is such a fucking badass fucking rapper, dude. I want to do some fucking hot scotch on his fucking wee wee so fucking bad, bro. That's how much I fucking love that Compton rapper, bro. Holy fuck. Step two, once I get the success from that fucking little clip, I'm going to go ahead and use that money to buy myself a blue McLaren, right? And I'm going to hire somebody and put their life in danger, look down at my phone as I'm driving while it's fucking raining with a high-powered car, okay? I'm going to give it a little rev, I'm going to lose control of the car, and then I'm going to smash the fucking car into the fucking wall so I have another viral moment. I'm going to tell my bitch-ass cameraman to keep fucking filming. I don't care how fucking busted up he is. I'm going to keep fucking filming until that motherfucker fucker either drops dead or until that motherfucker uh just can't film anymore whatever it doesn't matter he's gonna keep fucking filming until i say so step three once i get banned from the platform that for some reason banned me i don't understand why they banned me i'm gonna go ahead and just start uh live streaming on another platform that i'm not banned on and i'm gonna start tricking little kids to get their mommy or daddy's credit card in order to start uh paying for my habits again and shit and then i'm gonna go ahead and be like bitch you never driven a mclaren you poor bitch so you don't know what the fuck it's like to lose control on a McLaren because you're so fucking broke, you fucking loser. Then from all the donations I get on the live from that one, and then, um, you know, using the success off of that viral moment, I'm going to go ahead and start um, fucking, whatchamacallit, I'm going I'm to go ahead and buy my cameraman a fucking jet ski, right? Because, you know, uh, that's the best way I can fucking, for, you know, apologize, you know, after I almost endangered his life or, or cost him his life, whatever. And uh, I think it, it we should be good after that. I don't think I don't see any reason as to why you know we wouldn't be good. You feel me? I'm gonna offer him to let me show him how to operate the jet ski, and I'm gonna try to drown down the motherfucker so I could try go ahead and try to have another viral moment. So with that viral moment, I could go ahead and fund the other viral moment. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just you know after that after that viral moment, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse and repeat. I don't give a fuck about anybody else but myself. My name is Jack Doherty. My name is Talk Tua. And uh, this is my fucking dumbass life because I, I'm fucking useless. Look, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't get it. How the fuck do we make someone like Jack Dorothy, and fucking Haley Welch, Mrs. Fucking, <laughs> fucking famous, bro? Like I fucking hate these motherfuckers. Not because they're famous, but just how? How the fuck? I, I don't even know Jax. Jax, I don't even understand how the fuck he even became famous in the first place. Fucking Haley Welch, I kind of understand because, I mean, she said some dumb shit and people just banked off of it and shit like that. They were like, fuck it, you know, that that's a new phrase we're going to use from now on. The audacity of Jack to literally tell his viewers on that TikTok live after he got banned from Kick to say straight up, Look man, you're never driven a fucking McLaren, so you don't know what the fuck it's like. You don't know what the fuck it's like to drive a fucking McLaren in the fucking rain, bro. What the fuck do you expect? Your broke ass is probably still driving a Honda Civic, bitch. That was probably that young man's mindset, dude. That dude's a piece of shit. Bro, the fact that a bunch of little kids literally got um their credit their mom and daddy's credit card to literally fucking fund his goddamn TikTok live is fucking incredible, dude. It's just like I this is like Right now, I'm in this state where I just really want to grind for it. Like, I don't want to just instantly fucking, like, uh, I, I mean, it would be a blessing, yes, an instant to fucking, you know, get that fame overnight. But obviously, you know, that in reality, in this fucking day and age, it requires quite a bit of luck, you know what I'm saying? And again, I, I don't understand with Haley Welch. I mean, it's just. She said something dumb and it just went off. Like, it, it blew the fuck up. Like, what the fuck? It was cool for that one little moment. It was so cool for that one little moment, right? And then, all out of the blue, she just starts, you know, thinking that she could sue the guy that fucking filmed her, uh, her viral moment. It's like, bro, what the fuck? Like, why, why are you gonna sue the guy that fucking fed your dumb ass? Like, what the fuck are you doing? For me, you know, like, Jack... I think, I don't give a fuck about that dude, I mean, he's a fucking bitch, bro, because after what he did to his poor cameraman, I mean, that's some really bitch shit that he did, man, that, that shit was fucking wild, the fact that, uh, Jack literally put his people's life in jeopardy, man, that's just fucking crazy, and then Miss Talk to was trying to bite the fucking hand that fed her dumbass, it's like, bro, what the fuck, I just, I look, man, I have no problem with them being famous, that's not the, the issue, the issue really is, is like, you know, they got their, you know, 15 seconds of fame, 
but it lasted longer than that. You know, it's been a long ass 15 minutes of fucking fame. Like, how the fuck did that happen? And then she got this whole podcast started and then Jack somehow still was able to recover after the Twitch ban. It's just so fucked, man. It's just so severely fucked. I, I just don't get it, man. I will say whenever Jack gets this shit kicked out of him, like, uh, I'm pretty sure like, I think some dude named Prime or some shit. I, I can't remember who the fuck it was. Um, that slapped the shit out of Jack Doherty or Dorothy, whatever the fuck his name is. Um, he slapped the shit out of him once before, and I will say that was pretty satisfying, honestly. I know what I'm about to say is super fucking wrong, but except, honestly, Haley Welch, she's starting to remind me a little bit of Lindsay Lohan's bitch ass. Here's the thing about, uh, Haley Welch, right? Now, I'm not saying she's exactly like fucking Lindsay Lohan, because Lindsay Lohan's bitch ass is a little bit worse. But I said, that took some time. That took some time to destroy her own fucking career. I mean, she was super ungrateful. Y'all remember the time when Lindsay Lohan literally almost wanted to sue Rockstar Games because she thought that the cover girl for um, Grand Theft Auto V or one of the title screens, or I think one of the lo one of the loading screens um, to load into the game was fucking her? Like, what the fuck? Like, no, no, just nowhere near. Like, your crackhead ass looking face is just nowhere near that fucking animated chick's face. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, chica? I can see the same shit happening with uh, Haley Welch, man. Like, the fact that she's already in that direction, trying to sh sue the fucking person that, you know, filmed that viral moment and shit, and she wants to be a fucking cunt about it, and it's just straight up... Just straight up fucking sue the dude, man. Like, what the fuck is up with that, man? And then Jack not giving a fuck about his fucking staff and just straight up trying to kill them, basically, you know? I'm pretty sure he's trying to drown his cameraman because why else would you fucking give him a jet ski, bro? Like, I mean, yeah, to say, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, my bad, dude, for almost killing you. But here's a fucking jet ski, dude. Which, by the way, um, if you try to make me look bad, I'm gonna fucking drown you in this bitch, too, bro. So shut your fucking mouth. See, with the talk to a girl, right? My thing is, she kind of reminds me of someone who kind of let the fame get to her head. And this is one of the signs that I feel like it's getting to her head, right? Because the fact that she's trying to sue the guy that, that filmed that viral, viral moment of her, I feel like it's a sign in the wrong direction for her. The reason why I say that is because it reminds me of one in particular girl from another YouTube channel. And the name is Leah Marie Johnson. Now, if you don't know who that is, that is one of the girls that was um, kind of like the OG of YouTube. Like, she wasn't a YouTuber. She was just a person participating in the React videos for the Fine Bros and shit. And I remember um, that on Instagram, there was this one account by the name, or and it's still around. So, it, it's still around to this day. One Minute Talk Show, okay? I remember those dudes ended up interviewing... Um, one of the two of the dudes that were on the uh, kids react and also teens react show okay when they were younger and they also mentioned about how leah marie johnson went through a crackhead stage which was fucking crazy <laughs> like i'm not trying to make fun of her situation because it, it was actually pretty bad it was really really rough but I don't know what exactly happened to that poor girl. I don't know if the fame simply got to her or she just got involved with the wrong people. Because as far as I remembered, she was already making music at one point. Like, I remember her, she was, like, doing music. She was doing really creative things. And then uh, I lost track of her after that. Like, I want to say, like, after, I remember, maybe, like, 2013, 2014. And then years later, to, I come to find out that she actually went down a really, really rough past. A uh, really rough path, not past. A really rough path. You know what I mean? And it's like, bro, I could definitely see this chick, you know, the uh, talk to a girl going down the same road, bro. Like, I mean, the fact that you want to sue somebody that gave you your viral moment, your fucking 15 seconds of fame, which turned into 15 minutes of fucking fame, which more likely turned into a whole hour of fucking fame, because holy shit, it's been months since that shit happened. Holy fucking a bro see just like that i think that's what's gonna happen to talk to her girl bro like i feel like the fame's gonna get to her dumbass bro i feel like she's gonna jump off bro you feel me also one thing i do want to mention real quick about the fine bros back when the ad apocalypse and if you don't remember that look it up because it was a fucking massive thing it was a massive issue bro it was crazy but back then the fine bros okay they decided that it was a good idea to go ahead and try to copyright the word react Either copyright or, or some shit. Like, they wanted basically 15 cents from everybody that said the word on fucking YouTube. Like, what the fuck? And they came out a few months later. No, I think it was like a week or so later. They took down that video of them trying to copyright the fucking word or whatever. 
and they ended up coming out with one of the worst apologies. This was the time whenever like they were one of the first YouTubers to come out with some of the most bullshit ass apologies like cancel culture was basically starting to take off and cancel culture was barely taken off and just everybody called them out on their bullshit like they i'm pretty sure they even took that video down eventually like I, I don't think it's still up to this day on youtube i think i don't know i'm not i'm not for sure and also the other thing too did those motherfuckers like even though they were stuck doing that bullshit about the word react i wonder did they even bother to check up on uh leo marie johnson because the one thing i have a major problem with uh, about those two in particular uh about the fine bros i enjoyed their content but only for them to like not check up on one of the more familiar faces that kind of help them grow is fucking crazy like i will say she didn't like you know she wasn't famous or anything leah marie johnson in the beginning but like i mean let's be honest here i mean i'm pretty sure quite a few people were familiar with her face and were like kind of like you know what because she was also intelligent like before all the you know her you know drug phase and all that shit she was smart and I'm pretty sure quite a few people wanted her to come back to the show and stuff like that over and over again. I mean, let's let's be honest here. She kept coming back. I mean, she was she became a very familiar face uh, in the world of the the Fine Bros and shit like that. Um, only for her to go down that street, down that fucking path. Like, where were the fucking Fine Bros, bro? Like, what the fuck? Now again, before all of y'all hop on my dick about my hatred for them a little bit, this is mostly about Jack and Talk To A Girl. Again, I could definitely see Miss Talk To A literally going down that path of being ungrateful as fuck. Now, Leah Marie, that's different. She was actually grateful and she actually used, you know, um, that success that she gained from being on The Fine Bros um, to her advantage and did a nice little career with it. But then that happened and then, you know, things went south. I'm mostly referring to this talk to a girl as like a Lindsay Lohan I could definitely see this bitch you know just doing some whack ass shit like she's doing now suing the person that gave her a viral moment like what the fuck bro and what the fuck is up with Jack bro like what the fuck like I I still don't get how that broccoli haircut looking motherfucker even got famous in the first place I don't get it like I, I just don't like there's a bunch of kids with their mom and dad's credit card just fucking sending money to anybody they're like fucking Joe Biden sending fucking money to Ukraine and shit like that. Like, what the fuck? They're, they're sending money to people that are not of their kind and just like, you know, forgetting about... They, they got to... Oh my fucking God again, Jesus Christ. But these kids are just sending money to people that are not their families and shit like that. And it's like, bro, what the fuck? Now, I will say this. I will say this. If I was someone who was accepting donations... I would do my fucking best to try not and accept anything bigger than like maybe like five bucks or so, you know, to be honest with you. There's just because I think what I don't know if this is correct or not, but I'm pretty sure Jack was receiving like fucking payouts that are that are pretty massive because he was getting those galaxy fucking em emoji. No, not emojis. What the fuck? Those galaxy fucking little animations on his TikTok live after uh, he got banned from kick and shit. And I was like. How the f how much are those fucking particular galaxies? Actually, as a matter of fact, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and look it up real quick. Give me give me one second. How much are the galaxy animations on the TikTok live when somebody donates to you? So apparently, it's about a thousand TikTok coins, um, and it translate into translates into thirteen dollars. Okay, not the worst, but he was receiving a shit ton of them, bro. After his fucking antics, like what the fuck, bro? That, that's what I'm saying. That, that's how I'm going to become famous. I'm going to go ahead and say some dumb shit. Like, talk to a girl over there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just straight up fucking like, I don't know, just, you know, bank off of my success. I'm going to buy a high-powered car, drive that shit in the rain, or even in the daylight, and somehow lose fucking control, smash that bitch into the wall, and I'm going to go ahead and tell my cameraman, no matter how fucked up he is, if he's got a broken dick or a broken pussy, I'm going to go ahead and tell that motherfucker, you better keep filming, you son of a bitch. I don't care how broken you are. You're going to fucking film until you fucking die, bro. Look at me. I'm at the Krusty Krab. You think I want to go back to that shit, boy? You think I want to go to back to Mr. Krabs' cheap-ass fucking labor? Are you fucking fucking shitting me nah you're gonna film this shit no matter how busted you ass buddy here's my final verdict on the situation as long as we have people like jack doherty jack dorothy i don't know um and miss Haley welch fucking talk to a girl mrs spit on that thing as long as we have people around there's always hope there is always hope 
that dumb shit like that will always, always prevail. You know what I'm saying? Like overnight success. I don't blame them for getting famous. It's not even their fault in the fucking first place. There's just some dumbass people out there. But it's all good in the hood though. As long as we got fucking people like that who we know can be famous just like that, we should be all okay. So just keep in mind, anytime you want to get famous and you want to make some quick money, just say some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? America will approve of that shit. I approve of that shit. My name is Brian96 and amen to all the idiots out there. I love y'all. I should be president next fucking year. Suck my wee-wee.